we're outside Worksworth um, St Mary's Church here in Derbyshire and I'm going to meet Phil Richards who's been doing some research into another Worksworth at the other side of the world. Can you tell us how you stumbled across the other Worksworth? Well, um, I work in a library and uh, I, have, I use Google a lot and I have a set of Google alerts which tell me when there are new stories coming up on different topics. And one of my topics is Worksworth and in early December last year there was a Google alert with a new story about Worksworth and so I clicked on it and there it was, Worksworth House. So tell us about Worksworth House. Well, Worksworth House, it turns out, uh, is an old house that needed renovating because it was starting to get very dilapidated. Um, but the main thing about it is that it's not in Worksworth, it's in Hobart, Tasmania. I contacted the uh, editor of the newspaper, the online newspaper, the Eastern Shore Sun, who published the story, uh, contacted Ingrid Harrison, and we've both been trying to dig in the meanwhile and trying to find out quite what the connection is, because we're pretty sure there is a connection. Uh, if you do Google Worksworth, you'll get lots of references to Worksworth Derbyshire, one reference to a Worksworth Street in Melbourne, Australia, but there all the streets are named after Derbyshire towns, and you find Worksworth Tasmania. So we're pretty sure there is a connection, but we're not sure what it is yet. The house was built in 1888 by uh, uh, a rich guy called Featherston, who lived there in Hobart. He built it for himself, uh, a big, big mansion. Um, but uh, within about 10 years, his family fortunes had taken a complete dive. He disappeared in mysterious circumstances, and most of his family records disappeared with him. So we don't really know whether it was named Worksworth House at the time, or whether that's a name that's come to it uh, since. Uh, from 1939 it was used as a teacher centre by the Tasmanian Education Service and that's certainly borne the, ha borne the name Worksworth House since then. It's on a plot of land which is also called Worksworth. It's in a suburb of Tasmania, of Hobart called uh, Belle Reeve, just across the bay from the main part of Hobart. And if you go on it on Google Earth it looks a very, very nice place indeed. So we're standing outside the Hope and Anchor and continuing the Tasmanian connection. Uh, when I replied to Ingrid in my email, she asked me to send a photo. So I sent a photo of what works with Christmas lights with the Hope and Anchor in the background. And she emailed me back straight away saying, you're not going to believe this, but we have a pub in Hobart, in the middle of Hobart, called the Hope and Anchor. And my research leads me to believe this is the, the oldest pub in the whole of Australia. So we're standing outside Anthony Gell School and we believe there may be a connection. Anthony Gell School was named after the Gell family who founded it back in 1576. Uh, and it seems that uh, the Gell family may maybe uh, have some connection with the Worksworth House in Tasmania because one of their members, Reverend John Philip Gell, went over to Tasmania in the 19th century working for the governor there uh, who named a hill after him, Mount Gell. Um, but there is no clear evidence at the moment. We hope to dig in the county archives and see if we can find something in the Gell family records, which, unlike the Featherston records, have not disappeared. So we are hopeful that we may yet solve the mystery of the other works with.